Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to frame in a door and uh, we're starting with the same uh, um, just standard wall panel like we had before and we're going to kind of cut a door into it and we're going to use existing geometry to help us out. So to start with, um, of course the door is going to go all the way to the ground so I don't need to establish the bottom of the door. I do need to establish the top of the door however. So I am going to use that bottom sill plate line down here and offset that to the height of my door. Now if you recall from our studies, um, door the standard door height or the standard four door heights is six foot eight inches. Okay, you can always be larger than that, but you cannot be smaller than that. So we're going to offset and we're gonna go six foot eight inches. Bottom seal. Okay, so now we have the top of our door, and what we need to do is just kind of figure out where we're going to put it. Um, now, typically in a set of plans, you'd maybe want a more specific location, um, sometimes not. Uh, so here we're just kind of picking a spot uh, to put our door. Now, this will be like a front door to our house, um, so we'll make it three feet wide, 36 inches. Um, so if I say, okay, this is the left limit of my door, I would offset this line. 36 inches. Now, let's see, I'll change that to 36 inches, and there we go. Now, there's the right limit of my door, and I've pretty much got everything lined out. Now, I just need to go in and do some trimming so I can see what I'm working with. Okay, so this is the left limit. I'm going to trim that out, trim that out, get these little pieces in here. I have to delete those. Click on the eraser, click here, click here, and then enter. Okay, now this is the right extent of my door, so I'll do some trimming here. Okay, I'll actually in the delete tool, so let me restart the trim. And then Go to the delete tool. Okay, so trimming needs done down here. Get that while I'm here. And let's to delete this whole thing, the whole line. Okay, all right, now we got to trim the inside part of our door here. Um, get rid of all this. And then these we'll have to select and delete. All right, so there's our door opening. We want to maintain that three foot wide section here and the six foot eight inch. So to make our header, we're going to offset this. If we're using a uh, two by eight, we're going to offset it uh, six or seven, seven, see two by eight, seven and a quarter inches. I think I actually got that wrong on the last one. But anyway, we're going to do an offset. And we're going to do it 7.25 inches. And we're going to extend inch and a half, 1.5 inch. And then here we can just drag it to the other side of that stud. Take this top line, we're going to extend it also. Okay, so that's going to be, whoops, whoops. Let me drag this to here. Okay, and we're going to close off the end of that right here. And we're going to trim inside all of this stuff. There's our header. We've got one trimmer already in place. Okay, we're going to offset this one to create another trimmer. Okay, 
1.5 inches. There we go. Oops, I didn't hit the right button. Okay, and we're going to copy this one. Find a selection point or a base point and then drag it to the end. Okay. Trim. All right, so there's almost our door. We got our trimmers in place, our header in place. Next thing we want to do is we need a kingstead. So we're going to offset one and a half. And we're going to choose um, this line here, scoot it over. This line here, scoot it over. This one, make it match. This one, make it, oops. This one, make it match. Okay, and we're going to do some trimming. Oops, I don't think I'm in the trim tool like I thought I was. Okay, so there I went. There's my door. Um, again, using geometry that already exists, I just kind of established where I wanted the door to be. Um, you know, the left inner, the leftmost uh, boundary of the door, and then I started offsetting geometry to establish other sides, other pieces, uh, other measurements and what have you, and then trimming out the um, studs and everything that are in the place where the door should be. And uh, there we go. That's what we have. We have a wall with a door in it. Okay, so uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll draw a wall detail. Um, that's going to be the next thing you'll work on. So good luck with that.